is not sin. Without faith, you can't please God. If you don't believe in Him, you can't please God. If you're not a believer, you're in the wrong house. If you're not a believer, you're in the wrong religion. For we as Baptists folks believe in the teachings of Jesus Christ. We believe in walking like Him and talking like Him and acting like Him and loving like Him because we are followers of Jesus Christ. If I say I'm a follower, then I ought to look like Him. Amen, somebody? And if, I, if I'm a follower, I ought to be willing to let God lead us and give us a better understanding of who he is. How can you follow him if you don't know who he is? Amen, somebody? How can you follow him if you don't understand who he is? Can I ask you a question? Who has more knowledge? You or God? God knows everything. He knows the past. The present and the future. He's reading your mind right now. Amen, somebody? He's telling you, come back to the church house. Get out of the jazz fest. Come on, y'all. Get off the second line and come into the house of God. He understands everything about us. He knows what's waiting around the corner. He sees every segment of our life. And he is willingly and faithfully, will, he will guide us in the path if we will just trust him and follow him with all our hearts. With all of our hearts. Amen? Y'all getting bored? I'm almost finished. Number two. A disciple acknowledge the Lord. Amen, somebody? I, sometimes I used to burn my, 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 my Paul, I, 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 I was confused about how can I the Lord in all of my ways. But a disciple trusts the Lord to lead him. And when God leads you, you will be submitted to him. Submitted and committed. Trust in the Lord means submission. Amen, somebody? You, you, you didn't catch me, Sister Gail. When you trust the Lord, that means you give over to him. Amen? When you trust the Lord, you give him control. When you trust the Lord, you let the Lord lead you. When you trust the Lord, you put everything in His hand. When you trust the Lord, you put your business in His hand. You put your husband in His hand. You put your children in His hand. When you trust the Lord, you put your car in His hand. When you trust the Lord, ain't God all right? <laughs> Jump out the bed. I did put some clothes on y'all. Went outside. Walk all around the car, check the tires, check the oil, check, check everything. Came back in. And then I prayed. And then I looked at her. I said, Yes, you can go. Check it out before you say it can be done. Check with God before you do anything. Amen, somebody? Amen. Check with the Lord before you do anything. Acknowledge Him. How can I acknowledge Him, preacher? Well, when people start to give you compliments, say, bless the Lord. Don't play with Him, need it now. Say, baby, let me tell you something. Since you think about that, since you're looking at my glory, let me tell you my story. And in my story, every step of the way, the Lord carried me through. You look at them and say, If you knew that, I know where the Lord has brought me from. Ain't God all right? I know how you say, Sister Paula, you can pray, baby. But if you read her story, that's the reason she can pray. Because of what she's been through, that I'm talking that talk because I know some of her story. Because I was there for her story and I was in her story. Somebody help me here? Hallelujah. And let me tell you something, don't you go there and get, ask somebody to pray for you can't, that can't pray. Amen? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to bring Sister Paul up again. I remember when they put me up for this church and I said, Paul, I don't know what the Lord going to do. Oh, she did was. I said, but Paul, trust God. If it is his decision, if it is his will, 
intention. Your intention. That job you prayed for. That job you thought you should have had. God didn't let you have it. Because he knew what he was doing. Amen, somebody? How oh, God, now let me mess with somebody. That man that you thought should have been your man. Hallelujah, somebody. When you look at him now, you want to shout and say, thank you, Jesus. Help me, somebody. He knows. <laughs> Listen to what my brother told me. I'm leaving Houston. I, I'm hurt. I wanted to live in Houston. Didn't want to live in New York. He told me, he said, man, the Lord knows better. Oh, yeah. Amen? Yeah. I looked at his wife and I looked at mine. He said, man, God will give you the woman that you deserve. Yeah. Y'all ain't catch that.